Welcome to Electron Online. It's not always easy to see that you're actually dealing with the sum of cubes, especially when the problem is written like this. But then you realize, wait a minute, 512, hmm, that looks like it could be 8 cubed. 8 times 8 is 64, 64 times 8 is indeed 512. So you can rewrite this as the quantity x minus 2 cubed plus 8 cubed. And now you realize you're dealing with the sum of cubes. Again, you're going to solve it the way you solve the general form of that. If you have a cubed plus b cubed, that means that it's equal to the quantity a plus b times the first term squared minus the product of the two, the two terms plus the last term squared. And notice that it's actually a good idea that you memorize this and memorize it well, realizing that you have a plus here and a minus here if it's a sum of cubes. Later on we'll realize with the difference of cubes the signs will be switched, but we don't have to worry about that yet. To simply realize when it's a cubed plus b cubed, it's a plus b, and then the negative sign appears here, otherwise the middle terms wouldn't disappear and you wouldn't end up with the right combination. So it's a plus b times the first term squared, the negative of the product of the two terms plus the last term squared. So now we're going to apply it to here, and again, it's not a bad idea to say that in this case, x, or not x, but, whoop, there we go, a is equal to x minus 2, and b is equal to 8. And then we're going to apply that to our general form. So this can be written in general as a plus b times a squared, not plus, but minus ab plus b squared, and then we simply match up what these are equal to. So that means that a being x minus 2 plus b, which is 8, times a squared, which is x minus 2 squared, minus a times b, x minus 2 times b, which is 8, and then plus 8 squared. And then notice we can simplify this a little bit more. So this can be written as x plus 6 times, we can write this out as being x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then here this can be written out as minus 8x, and that would be minus 8 times a minus 2 would be plus 16 and plus 64. And notice we can combine some like terms. So this is equal to x plus 6 times x squared minus 4x minus 8x, which is minus 12x. And 4 plus 16, that's 20, plus 64 is plus 84. And notice that this is a proper factored form of our original equation. Again, notice it's in the same general format as it usually is. And that is how it's done.